I know the answer to everyone's question about the Penguin finale. Spoilers ahead. So quick context, people have been theorizing about whether or not Batman's gonna show up in the Penguin finale after Sophia basically blew up an entire city block in episode 7. Because after that, he has to show up, right? Nope. And we were actually given that answer a while ago. Before the show released, Max ran a promo for the show where they created the Gotham Gazette and gave away real copies of it to people in New York City or to people who had a New York Times subscription. And in this newspaper, they included all kinds of cool tidbits and Easter eggs leading up to the show. The cover mentions the Penguin being on thin ice, which could be nothing but maybe a reference to Mr. Freeze coming in the Batman 2. All right, everyone. Chill. We get a mention of Gotham's new DA, who we have to guess is Harvey Dent, especially because the first sentence of the article literally says, is our legal system dented beyond repair. Someone in Gotham apparently created a Riddler-inspired escape room, which honestly, kind of a genius idea. There's a wanted ad for the police searching for a purple sports car with a reckless driver, which is obviously the Penguin. But what's really worth mentioning is this comic strip, which gives the answer to everyone's question about this week's finale, where we can see Jim Gordon standing on a building with the bat signal on, and someone on the roof telling him, it's been weeks, sir. Which lets us know that the Batman has been absent from Gotham ever since the Riddler's flooding. Why? We're not completely sure. But at this point, I would be completely, although pleasantly, surprised surprised if the Batman actually showed up. And if he doesn't, I don't think it's a plot hole. We just know he likely hasn't even been around Gotham, and I'm sure we'll get the answer as to why soon enough.